Hey everyone, and welcome back to my Making a Game in the Desmos Graphic Calculator series. Last time we covered developing levels 2 and 3 of our game. In this video, I'll cover creating level 4. This episode is more of a status update than anything else. It takes quite a long time to make these levels, and it's mostly content that I've previously explained. I'll highlight a few key elements in the final level, though. The first thing I want to focus on is the coin system. Besides just adding a new coin, I also fixed it up a little bit. Before, I had a rounding feature for each coin boolean. This was good, but it would occasionally fail if the boolean didn't get above 0.5, which actually happened quite often. My solution was to make a simple expression that checked if the boolean was not equal to 0. If the boolean is above 0, it's set, so this turned on when the boolean was set. This solved the problem of the sketchy coin collection system. Now coins are actually still pretty broken though, as if you collect a coin and then fail a level, you can just keep the coin. This isn't what I want, but I'm classifying it as a medium priority problem and I'm just going to ignore it for now. Now next up is the spikes, which I was so close to getting right the first time around, but I missed a key feature, being able to move the spike up and down. This actually wasn't too bad to implement, I just needed to add two circles in the bottom of the shape to detect the bottom corner collisions, similar to how the circles in the top detect top corner collisions. Of course, the thing I added was a Y offset. Really, this just accompanied the height variable and was just tacked on right next to it. Okay, with all the explanation out of the way, I'm going to show you the footage of me creating the full level. Now everyone that's clicking off right about now, thanks for watching. For all six of you that are left, this is about two hours of footage I'm going to compress into about five minutes. Enjoy.
Now for everyone who stayed, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss creating the last section of the game. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to ask below. Until next time.